Hey guys! What's up? Welcome back to the video you've all been waiting for. I'm assuming you've seen the announcement on Facebook if you're friends with me. We get married. Yay! Congratulations! High five. Oh my god. High five. <laughs> so first of all, before we get anything else started, uh, I just wanted to say to all my friends back at home, you didn't miss anything, okay? This is just the legal paperwork. You can show them. We just got the paperwork done to be legally married because we want to start the process to get her to come to America and getting married makes the whole process a lot easier. So, yeah. But you did not miss the ceremony. The ceremony is coming whenever. Maybe next year. Yeah. One day. <laughs> yeah. So it's up to her parents to plan. It's, I think, a bit different than back at home where like the husband and wife kind of plan it. It's more up to the parents. So right? quick update, we are not single anymore. I mean, we haven't been single for a while, but yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so that was just a thing to tell you, first of all, and... Uh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> we talked about what we are going to say, and now I forgot. What so we're going to uh, talk about uh, how did we get the paperwork done in Vietnam. So the paperwork is a little bit complicated, and I think they do that on purpose to make it not super easy so that not everybody can get married you have to kind of it like proves yourself right like your dedication to each other so the first thing that we both had to do is prove that we're single so for her that meant going to her hometown which is where we flew the drone a few like a while ago you saw that uh, and then for me i had to go to the embassy and sign some paperwork and pay 50 dollars for it which you can do pretty easy uh, what is the second step mm, so your paperwork i need to notarize in Vietnam. Yeah. And then next step is the health check. That's it, like the video we recorded. Where they put the thing on my yeah. head. They did that for both of us. So, so like proof that we are healthy enough to get married. Yeah, mentally they do a mental check and kind of physically they just make sure that you're healthy. They pull your blood to make sure you didn't have any diseases, which is interesting. Yep. So after that like we Also pretty bring... simple and cheap. What was that like? One 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 million? 1.3 I think. It's like $50. $50. Yeah, okay. And then we collect all the paperwork and uh, apply it to yeah. like the government building. In her hometown. In my hometown. You can't get married anywhere in the country, which is weird, but maybe that makes sense. I think it's the same in America. So we had to go to her hometown and apply, and that happened right before the Lunar New Year, or Tet. We, we have to wait after the holiday. Like a month. Yeah, yeah. and go sign the paperwork. Yeah. And do that. So now it take 15 days. So yeah, we are yeah. legally, legally married. married. Yeah, so the ceremony will come in the future once that's all planned out, but at least we're able to start processing it so she can go to America and yeah, it kind of solidifies how we feel about each other, so it's good. It's like the first like legal step, I guess, to together. Plus, it means that I'm not a slave to my company as well, so she can help me out if I get into trouble, which is nice because nobody really realizes, recognizes like engagement or dating somebody. So now I'm protecting him in Vietnam. Yeah. In the future, he can protect me in America. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but it looks like we'll need. It looks like I'll need her more than she'll need me if coronavirus keeps spreading how it is. Okay, because <laughs> we're yeah. safe in Vietnam now. Yeah, we're super safe here. But, anyways, yeah. So that's the thing. Like. Uh, the only thing that sucked for this whole process was getting my paperwork notarized in Vietnam because there's only one office that does it and you'll go to the same office and they're super corrupt and it took us two days first day of waiting and not getting anything done we waited for what like six four four five hours we waited yeah. a long time and nothing happened and then we came back the next day and we realized like that's how it is you got to kind of bribe somebody to get ahead and we eventually found a lady across the street who was willing to help us out she was actually very sympathetic towards our situation which was really interesting she like openly like expressed how she feels bad and that's not how it should be but it is what it is we got the paperwork done just be prepared to kind of you know put uh, grease some palms i think we say in english you know you know what that means right <laughs> Like you just need to put something here to make it more, yeah. So anyways, it's all done and it's all good to go now, so. Yeah, if you get married in Vietnam, let me know. I can help you out. Probably won't. At least, like, <laughs> based on our experience, go yeah. through that process. Yeah, it's not too bad, so. I know not really such a awesome video, but it's good to know. And now we can start the next step, which is filling out, like, 400 more pages of paper <laughs> for the Americans. So side. fun. <laughs> it's so a lot of work. Become like yeah. a Mrs. Wait, not Mrs. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah, Mrs. Okay. Unmarried so, to no, Mrs. I don't want to. Mrs. Matievich. Okay. But she then, can't say it. it. She can't say the last name yet. The same thing you still yeah. like, cannot pronounce my name. Yeah, right. I'm, I can say it well enough, but you say Mad like. What? Madijavik or something like that. You guys really say it wrong. Um, by the way, funny fact or fun fact, this is the third time recording this video. Oh my god. Uh, the first time I accidentally deleted it somehow. <laughs> the second time, for some reason, the camera wasn't focusing, which I hope it's focusing now. And uh, yeah, now we're on the third time. So yeah, uh, back up your data. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're married. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.